Didn't you answer the door? What door? Didn't you hear me knock? It was you. Well, of course it was me. Who do you think it was? Police? The police outside? I don't know. Why? Nothing. You... You haven't been up to something, have you? No, of course not. Sure? Of course. Jackie, look at me. You're lying, aren't you? No, I'm not. You've been out this morning, haven't you? Well, what if I have? Where? Uh, I drove a car for a chap, that's all. What chap? Billy Morgan. Where did Billy Morgan get a he car? He borrowed it. Did the chap it belongs to know? Of course. Tell me what happened. Well, it, it was Billy Morgan and another chap. They, they said they'd give me 20 quid if I drive a car for them. You must be crazy. Well, I didn't know what they were going to do or I wouldn't have done it. Go on. Well, they went into a jeweler's shop. I waited outside in the car. Well, they hadn't gone in for more than a minute when the alarm bell went off and they came flying out. The engine wouldn't go. I stalled or something. So we left the car and ran. They're not here now, are they? No, they went the other way. Anyone see you? I don't think so. Aren't you sure? How can I be sure? I didn't see anyone. You know what'll happen if you get picked up, don't you? Yeah. You're still on probation, aren't you? Why did you have to go and do it? Oh, I don't know. Because I got fed up with doing nothing. Anyway, I thought Mark could do with a 20 quid. Do you think I enjoy sitting around with no job and her going out to work every day? You know you won't get away with this, don't you? Don't see why not. Did you get your 20 quid? No, I've got to see Billy tonight. Well, you stay away from him. The police see you with him. You've had it. And if they pick him up, you've had it. You might just as well make up your mind to that. 
Billy wouldn't split. Billy would split on his own mother if he thought it'd do him any good. Sister's in Ballon. Yeah. Don't tell her anything till I get there. I'll be there later. All right. Here you are. Cute kitty. Go on. I'll keep them. Talking. Stand before me guilty of a most serious offence for which you could be sent to penal servitude for a long term. Only recently you were given the chance on probation to pull yourself together and to stop yourself from becoming a real criminal. You didn't take that chance. But in spite of that, I'm going to give you one more. I'm going to send you to a Boston institution for three years where you'll have every opportunity and where if you work hard and behave yourself, you'll be able to earn your discharge before the term of three years is completed. No, your mother's asked to see you before you go. I don't want to see him. I don't want to see anyone. Come in, Mrs. Knowles. You'll only have a few moments, I'm afraid. Thank you, sir. Are you all right, son? Whatever made you do it? I didn't know there was going to be a fight. They said if I just waited with the car for a few minutes, they'd give me 20 pounds. 20 pounds, my mother. I thought it'd help a bit. Well, you shouldn't have done it. I could have managed all right. I've got to now, anyway. Was Kitty in the court? No. No, she had to go to work. But she sends her love and she says she'll write. And so will I, son. As often as I can. Knowles? I'm afraid you'll have to go now, Mrs. Knowles. You will be sensible, won't you, Jackie? Do everything they tell you. And be a good boy. Yes, ma'am. Changing of the guard. Welcome to the Ritz, chums. Yeah, nurse, you told us to wait here. Then Scarford, where's he gone? Put his uniform on. Nah, all the screws here wear plain clothes. And you mustn't call them screws. I'd feel safer with a uniform. I like the law to look like the law. Yeah. The law always looks like the law to me, no matter what it's wearing. What are you two lads doing here? Oh, we were just going to fill our buckets, sir. Well, you won't fill them here, will you? Go on, get along. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Now then, I want you to remember this. You're not in prison, you're in Borstal. And the sooner you learn to behave yourselves, the sooner you'll get out of here. How soon do you think I'll get out, cocky? I've got a lovely nature. Any more of that kind of cheek from you and you'll find yourself on report. And when you speak to me, say, sir. I thought there weren't no class distinctions here. That's cost you your first mark, son. Now then, we'll get your uniforms, then you're going to have a bath. A bath? Blimey, I'll catch cold. You'll catch more than that if you don't watch your lip. Now, come on. Here, see how you picked on me? I didn't do nothing. What an institution, blimey. Up there and turn right. Take your hands out of your pocket. Here. Look at these. What would my missus say? Why? Don't you know you got knock knees? What do you mean, knock knees? It's the cut. Yeah. Me, a married man with two kids back in rompers. 
What a country. Ah, cheer up. It's only for three years. You don't catch me doing three years. First good chance I'll get I'm over that wall hard. Yeah, me and all. What do you say, kid? I'm staying. You're what? I'm staying. No, I don't get it. He's off his rocker. Ah, that's better. Now then, let's have a look at you. Fit all right? Oh, I can't wait to have me photo took. That'll do, Thompson. Right, get your kit and follow me. I'll show you to your dormitory. What are you doing here, Rowling? Oh, Mr. Knight told me to polish the floor, sir. Oh, which of the empty beds in here? There's only one, sir. That one there. Right, uh, Knowles, you'll be here. Yes. Now, you're responsible for the tightness of your own bed and locker. If you've got a photograph of anybody, you can put it up by the side of your bed. And there are the rules. Now, you'll be seeing the governor soon, so wait here till you're sent for. Sir. Right, come along, you three. I'm putting your next bill. Go on. What's your name? Jackie Knowles. What you in here for? Well, first I borrowed a bike. Borrowed one? Well, well, you know. Oh, yes, I know. And they sent you up here for that? No, no, no that was an old up by here. I got in with a bad lot. Got in with a bad lot, eh? Yeah. Got a good home, I suppose? Yes. Father? No. Mom? Yes, Mother. She'll miss you. There's a pity. She'll be lonely. What, uh, what happens here? I mean, what time do you get up? Oh, 5.40, winter or summer. First of all, you drill for half an hour to show you're not frozen. Then you go to chapel for another half hour to give thanks for the exercise. Then you're free to start your work. What sort of work? Oh, scrubbing floors and emptying slops the first month. After that, you go to the workshops, if you're lucky. But it isn't the work that gets you down. What is it, then? The nights, mostly. Going to bed in winter and summer at 8.30. The sun's shining. You're lying in bed and you can see it shining on the wall. And you keep on watching the sun because... Well, you've got nothing else to do. Maybe you hear somebody laughing outside and... You know, they're free. They're walking, talking, maybe having a smoke. Thinking of what they'll do next. That's what breaks your heart. I see. Of course, if you have a pal, it makes it a bit easier. I could look after you. Thanks, Aunt. I think I'd better look after myself. Well, here we are. Now, when we get inside, stand to attention while he's speaking to you. And don't be scared. He's all right, the governor. Okay, fellas, line up over there. Four reception, sir. Thank you, Cartwright. Sir. You'd better stay, Cartwright. I'm sending him to your house. Very good, sir. Well, now, lads, let's see who's who. Phillips? Sir? Thompson? Yes, sir. I'll Thompson, sir. I'm going to make good, sir. Glad to hear it. Knowles? Sir? Barker? Yes, sir? Now, there's something I want to say to you all, and I hope it'll be the only time I have to say it. You lads are here because you've got into mischief of one sort or another, and our job is to teach you to behave yourselves and become decent citizens. This place is not a prison, and it isn't run like one. Once you've settled down, you'll go to work, and there's absolutely nothing to stop you walking out and taking a hook if you're fool enough to do so. But if you do, you're only making a rod for your own back, because you'll find yourselves back here again with a spell of punishment and loss of privileges. 
But if you behave yourselves, and you really try to make a fresh start, we'll help you all we can from our side. Any time you're worried about something, you can go straight to your house master, or you can come to me. And we'll try to get it sorted out for you. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come in. Oh, Tixon, these four boys are coming into your house. This is Mr. Tixon, your house master. Hello. Uh, take him over to the house, will you, Cartwright? I'll be there in a minute. Very good, sir. All right, lads, you can go now. Left turn. Quick, march. Anything else, Tixon? Yes, sir. Casey. Whoa, is he giving trouble again? He's refused work again today, sir. How many refusals does that make? This is his fifth. What party is he on? He's uh, levelling a piece of ground down by the quarry. Well, that's the work he asked for, isn't it? Yes, sir. I, um, I haven't put him on report. I thought perhaps if you had a word with him... Uh... Where is he? He's in the detention block, sir. All right, I'll come now. Thank you, sir. The governor to see Casey. Yes, sir. Well, Casey, I hear you've refused again. Yeah. Why? Because I have. Very well, if that's your choice, it's PC again for you. I know. Give me Chucky any day, I can take it. You'll have to go on taking it, because next time another two days will be added on. Don't matter. I'll refuse again. Then there'll be another four days added. I think you'll get tired of refusing. I don't. Now, look, Casey, what is it? Do you feel you're not getting a square deal? Square deal? If we do the work, why don't we get the money? You get pocket money according to your work. <laughs> Bob, a week if you're lucky. Oh, the government's so keen on us making good, why don't they make it worth our while? If I gave you three pounds for your work, would you go on that party this morning? I don't want your charity. You don't want anything, do you, Casey? All right, then you've got to learn the hard way. Perhaps you'll realize in the end that refusing doesn't pay. Wait and see. That'll be your job, I think. She's pretty. Married to? Yeah. Going steady. Huh? <laughs> you lads are all the same. You love them and leave them. Just a girl on her, that's all. Gonna marry her one day. She'll have me. Gave you this, didn't she? Yeah. Well, what are you worrying about? You got a girl, Bill? No. Why not? I never found the right one, I suppose. But if ever I did, I'd... I'd get her. I bet you would. No matter who she was or who she belonged to, I'd get her. All right, lads, lights out. Lights out. Night. I don't really fancy any kind of work. Did you ever have a regular job? I had to go with a batter once. Yeah, I was doing well with that batter, but I had to turn it in. Why? Because I don't like being called a spiff. I've got me pride, you know. Besides, it wasn't my batter. <laughs> you who you be? Aye, aye. Yeah? Can't you see the nipper's been doing his housework? I'm sorry, mate. I couldn't help it. I'll get out this afternoon. How long you done? Two years, all but a week. They let me off the wrist. Lucky old Bill. Don't you worry. Your time will come. Gotcha. I'm doing my time now. How do I look? Oh, elegant. It's a good cut, isn't it? Look at my clothes, you know. What you going to do when you get out, Bill? You get a job, of course. Oh, no, I'm in trying. What do you mean? They look after you, don't they? 
Give you allowance for the first 12 months, that's a whole year to get a job. Seems fair enough. Oh, of course. You might get a job tomorrow. After all, if they're going to give a job to a Boston boy, why wait a year? Why not do it now? That's right. Of course, um, those that fail, uh, fail because of something wrong in their character. Something Boston did to their character, I suppose. Well, I'll be all right. I reckon you could get anyone to do anything for you. Anything you wanted. Without working. Much. What are you getting at? Nothing. If I want to live on anybody, I'll live on myself, see? Oh, yes, like all your own work, like, um, like a pavement artist. You're smart, aren't you? The smartest one here, they'll find that out soon. I'm sorry for you, Alfie. Are you? You break my heart? Goodbye. Goodbye. You'll be back soon. Ah, Foster. I'm glad to see you. Well, it's come at last and you've got a fine day for it. Yes, sir. You're all packed, I see. Yes, sir. Got everything you want? Yes, thank you, sir. Bet you haven't got any cigarettes, eh? Well, no, sir. <laughs> there you are. Thank you, sir. Well, now, look, Bill. You know we always check up on home conditions before you lads go out? Yes, sir. Well, frankly, yours is not so good. And I'd rather you didn't go back there. Well, it's the only home I've got, sir. But she isn't really your mother, is she? No. Have you got any other relatives? No, sir. Why not go to a hostel or a YMCA? No, I wouldn't like that, sir. Things aren't so good at home, and I want to help them all I can. Perhaps she's not all she should be, but... Well, it's home, sir, if you know what I mean. Yes, I know, Bill. Have you ever heard from your real mother? No. Do you know where she lives? I don't even know her name, sir. Would you like us to make some inquiries? No, sir. I think it's better if things stay as they are. All right. Now, don't forget to report regularly to the association, otherwise your licence will be revoked and you'll be back in no time. <laughs> right, sir. You've been a great success here. We're proud of you. Goodbye, Bill. Goodbye, sir. I expect you to go straight from now on. Well, I'll try, sir, but if I do, I'll be the only one in my street. <laughs> oh, Bill. Bill, is that right you come from Houston? Yeah, why? Well, I live near there and I was wondering... Bill, would you go and see my ma? I wrote down the address. <laughs> sure, Jackie. Oh, thanks a lot. I, I wrote and told her not to come and see me, but I wish I hadn't now. Perhaps you'd tell her I'd like to see her. <laughs> you bet your life I will. What about the girl in the photograph the side of your bed? You want me to kiss her for you? <laughs> you try. <laughs> so long. I'll be seeing you. Blimey, what am I saying? <laughs> walk out of here during the day and what happens? They pick you up before you've gone ten miles. But if you make a break at night after roll call, you've got ten hours start before they even know you're missing. It's all very fine. What about the clothes, sir? You're going to get the clothes for us, aren't you, bossy? Nah, don't look like it. What a mother to have. You know, anyone would think she preferred having me in here. What could she do anyway? If we're going to get out of here, we've got to have someone to plant the clothes for us. Well, she could have done that, but would she? Nah. The old bag. The old bag is right. Don't you insult my mum. You mind your own business. She's my mother. You can keep her. Why don't you ask your missus? I would, but she's staying with her mother. Now, there is an old bag of your lord. She hates me. Don't think why. Jackie's got a mother. She'd help. You wouldn't ask her. We'll see about that. Excuse me, Mr. Knight. Yes? We're getting a bit behind down with the potatoes. Can we have somebody to give us a hand, please? Very well. Then I'll give me the creeps. Yeah. Do you think we can trust him? Yeah. He can't trust us neither. Jackie's going to give us a hand, isn't that nice? What you thought, Shaz Tricks? Ah, oh, but slow. Slow? If a snail went by, he thinks it's a racehorse. Got a peeler? Yeah. Here you are, son. So, Jackie driven here from your mum? Yeah, regular. Wasn't that nice, no? Yeah, more than I do for my old woman. You're lucky to have such a nice man. Suppose you miss her? Yeah. Matter of fact, I. I asked her to come see me. You did? Well, that makes it easy. Now, we've got a proposition to make to you. 
Just a minute. Be nice for you, Jackie. Cheer you up, I dare say. Of course, it'll make us sad seeing you uh, dressed like that. You're right, Alfie. Make her cry, I shouldn't wonder. Now, if you were smart, you'd arrange it so that you could see her all the time and dress proper. Ah. Uh, get her to bring some clothes for us. Us four. Any civvies would do. Yeah. Then we'll all escape and make a clean getaway. What do you say, kid? No. What do you mean, no? Let him have his seat. If I leave this place before my time's up, it'll be for good conduct. Not bad. I think Jackie's right, you know. If those are his ideas, he's right to stick by them. Worth and blab the old set up to the screws, oh, I should think so. You wouldn't do that, Jackie, would you? No, of course not. No, it's none of my business. Only I think you're all crazy. I'll never get away with it. And I want no part of it. What's a big idea? Just a minute. Alfie may have something in mind. Don't worry. I'll wear him down. Make him hate this place. Young Jackie's going to be very useful to us. Didn't you hear him just now? He don't want nothing to do with it. Just like I said. He'll be very useful. Everyone likes him, don't they? Even the screws. Everybody likes him, Mrs. Knowles, even the screws. The masters, that is. Of course, he misses you. Yes, I miss him, too. Does he get enough to eat? Oh, you bet. Are you sure? Would you go hungry if you worked in a kitchen? Is that what he does? <laughs> yeah, well, feelings budge, mostly. I know it's stupid of me, but I can't help worrying about him. You know what mothers are. No, as a matter of fact, I don't. I haven't got one. Oh, I'm sorry. What happened to her? I don't know. When we parted company, I was a bit too young to say goodbye. Oh, I see. Oh, Jackie says he'd like you to go and see him one of these days. But he said no. Well, he's saying yes now. Oh, just a minute. Hello, Kitty. Hello. I'm glad you've popped in, love. We're just going to have a cup of tea. Oh, you've got company? Yes, Mr. Foster. Oh. Hello. Hello. I know you. You're the girl in the photograph. What photograph? Mr. Foster's been with Jackie at Borstal. Yes, that's right. That's where I saw your picture. I hope Jackie hasn't been showing it to everybody there. Well, why not? I would. Yes, I expect you would. I managed to get some oranges for you. Black market. Well, as a matter of fact... No. You want to be careful, young lady. You'll be ending up in Borstal yourself. That's not funny. The way you speak isn't funny either. I just think Jackie will get a nice welcome when he comes out. Don't worry, Jackie will. But Jackie's case was different. I never knew a case it wasn't. I'd like to hear mine. Not particularly. That's a pity. Now you two, you're not quarrelling, are you? No. I'm sorry. He's all right, really. You're all right yourself. Now let's all have a nice cup of tea, shall we? Hello, Jackie. You round off? Wait. Ah, oh, I'm sick of everything. Sometimes I wonder what's the use. We'll have a fag then. So. Now, you don't have really anything to be browned off about, do you? I suppose it's the summer, really. The weather. Makes you think you'll never get out of this place and be free. Oh, you will. When you leave. When? Now, just you cheer up, then, see? Penny for him. <laughs> I was just wondering what Jackie was doing now. Just about having his cocoa in a quarter of an hour's time, he'd be going up to bed. Poor Jackie. Tell me, Bill, is it very awful being shut away? I mean, do you miss things very much? do to begin with. The first few months, you think you go mad. It's a quiet sort of madness inside you. Nobody else knows about it. And then one day you find you're not mad at all. You, you've changed, just that you're different. And then you realize there are two kinds of people in the world. There's those inside and those outside. And, well, that's all there is to it. And you get used to it and, and you don't mind. 
It's not until you come out that you remember all the things you've been missing. Bill, I'm sorry for the things I said when we first met. It was silly of me. There were things I, I just didn't understand. Oh, there's a lot of things a lot of people don't know about. Tell me about your new job. How's it going? It's gone. Bill, you, you haven't had the, the sack. Why? Oh, well, it's a long story. Now let's talk about it. Let, let's talk about something more cheerful. Let's talk about you. What's the setup between you and Jackie? Oh, I've known Jackie all my life. He used to live next door. He even sat next to him at school. He was a funny kid. You gonna marry him? Of course, Bill. Should have sat next to you at school. Come on, let's dance. Come in. Oh, hello, Dixon. I'd uh, like a word with you, if I may, sir. Yes, pull up a chair. Thank you. Have a cigarette. Thanks. I'm, um, I'm worried about Bill Foster. Oh, why? Well, I've had a letter from the association. He's uh, lost that factory job, and from what Standing says, he seems to be losing hope, too. It's that home of his, I think. Well, it's funny you should mention that, because I've found another home for him, if they'll take him. You mean they've traced his mother? They've traced her all right, but whether she'll welcome the discovery remains to be seen. Oh, surely any mother... Oh, I don't know. You put yourself in her place. She's happily married with a family and a good home. Well, that's just what he needs. But, well, of course, you must see that. I see it, but will she? Well, we'll have to get to work pretty quickly, or we'll be back here. Will tomorrow do? What is it you want to talk about? Well, it's about one of my lads in Borstal, as a matter of fact. Borstal? Yes. Mrs. Smith, what I'm going to say to you is a bit difficult for me, since we're total strangers. I wonder if you could forget that for a while. Well, I'll try. Good. Then I'd like to tell you about this boy. His name's Bill. Bill? Bill who? Well, that doesn't really matter. The point is, he came to us two years ago. He hadn't done anything very dreadful, a couple of petty crimes. And since he's been with us, he's turned into a pretty decent chap. But a few weeks ago, he left us. You mean they let him out? That's right. He's back home again. And frankly, that's the real trouble. Why? It's a terrible home, Mrs. Smith. In fact, it's the main reason why he came to us in the first place. You see, his mother's a drunk. And worse. And the sad part of it is she's not really his mother at all. But I don't understand. If she's not his mother, why did he go there? He was an illegitimate child, Mrs. Smith. Oh? That's not his fault, you know. No, of course not. He never knew his real parents. This woman's his foster mother. She took him 20 years ago when he was a baby. But she's the only mother Bill has ever known. And now, because of this bad environment, he's slipping. He's losing jobs. He's getting the sack. And if someone doesn't do something about it, he'll be back inside again. Why are you telling me all this? I thought you might like to know what's happened to your son. It's taken me a long time to find you, Mrs. Smith. What do you want me to do? I want you to give Bill the chance of a good home. No. You mustn't ask me that. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. You see, my husband doesn't know about... about Bill. We're happily married. Please. You mustn't expect that of me. He needs it pretty badly, you know. You don't know what you're asking. Why should I throw away our happiness for the sake of a boy I don't even know? But he's your son, Mrs. Smith. I haven't got a son. Well, I'm sorry to have wasted your time. I thought it was worth trying, though. Good day. Hello, Kitty. Got the message, then. Eh? Hello, Bill. I'm sorry I'm late. What did you want? I'm going to ask you something. Well, go ahead. No, it's not as easy as that. 
Well, you don't have to be frightened of me. No, but I am. Look, come over here. This is important. Kitty, don't say anything till after I've finished, and then think a minute before you answer. All right. I know about you and Jackie going together, and I know that you're fond of him. But I want you to ask yourself if you really love him. Because if you don't, I'd... I'd like to give me a chance. Bill. I know I'm not much of a catch, but... Kitty, I do love you. I've never said that to anyone before. I'm not likely to say it again. But if, you, if you give me a chance, I, I promise I'll do everything I can to deserve it. That's all. Bill, I, I'm awfully fond of you. All right, but... don't say any more, Kitty. But I want you no, to... No, no, if you, if you can't, you can't. That's all there is to it. Would you like a drink? All right. Bill, what's the matter? Nothing. You haven't been up to something, have you? What do you think? Come on. Now, come on, Ed. Break it up. Break it up. We'll go through it again. For heaven's sake, try to remember that you're supposed to be Roman soldiers on the field of Philippi. This is a battle, not a kid's tea party. Now, positions, please. Let's try and put some life into it this time. And Brutus and Strato, that's you, Alfie, Casey. Come on, the rest of you. That's it. Now begin, Brutus. Come, poor immense of friends, rest on this rock. Stathelia showed the torchlight, but my lord he came not back, he is ortain or slain. Sit thee down, Clytus, slain is the word, tis a deed in fashion. Art thee, Clytus. Now you go across and he whispers to you. All right. What, I, my lord? No, not for all the world. Do you know why you're saying that, Clytus? Because he said something rude to me. Not exactly. He's asking you to kill him. But why ask me? Why didn't he do it himself? Well, let's go on and find out, shall we? Oh, anything to oblige? Well, oblige me by getting on with it. No, it's not me, it's him. All right, I know. Peace, then, no words. I'd rather kill myself. Ag thee, Yeah, like sorry. Shall I do such a deed? Shall I do such a deed? Oh, Dardanius! Oh, Clytus, come over here, cock. Just a minute. When are you lads going to learn these lines? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I find it very hard to learn. Well, you must try. All of you. None of you know the lines except Alfie here. Oh, excuse me, sir. Yeah? It's ten to, sir. You asked me to remind you. Oh, so I did. Thank you, Alfie. We'll just uh, carry on for a bit, shall we, sir? To help us learn the words, I think. Right here. Go over the same piece, sir, shall we? That's the idea. Good night. Good night, Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Mm. Come, poor him in our friends. Rest on this rock. Statnilius showed the torchlight, but, my lord, he came not back. He is ortain or slain. Okay, he's gone. Good. Your turn for look out, Spud. Okay, Spud, up here. <coughs> no. Now, outside information first. What have you got to report, Basher? I got a letter out to my ma. I told her I'll smash every stick of furniture. Everything I'll lay me hands on if you don't have the money there. How much? Two quid, or there'll be trouble. Two quid. How about you, Casey? I got a pal in town who'll put us up for the first two nights. Can we trust him? He'll put us up for the first two nights. Good. And Spud's promised three quid. How about you, Sparrow? I've got 30 bob and I've got it here, and then nobody asked me out, because they'll be disappointed. That makes six and a half quid, eh? How much have you got, Alfie? Oh, I, I haven't got nothing. Nothing at all. You see, I, I don't have any kind friends and relations. I don't know why we take him with us. Because we don't leave him behind. We love him so. Fly, 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 my lord. There is no telling him. Shut up. It's only Spud. It's young Jackie outside. He wants to come in. He says he knows all about it. Everything. What? Somebody's split. I told him to come. You say that again. Wait a minute. You must have had a reason. You know what we said we'd do to anyone who was caught squealing? Let me have a bash at him. Stop it. Bash away, but it won't stop Jackie from knowing, will it? Come on in, Jackie. Come on, Jackie, come in. The others weren't expecting you, but they're all very pleased to see you. Are you with us? No. And what's he doing here? I tell you. I'm just trying to stop you making fools of yourselves. 
When they bring you back, you'll all get PC, and you know what that means. And what makes you think we're coming back? You know you can't get away with we'll it. We'll get away with it, all right. You keep your trap shut. Come on, let's chuck him out. Come on, let's chuck him out. Blimey, look who's here. Hello? What's the meeting in Ada? It's a dramatic class. We're rehearsing a play. If you want to know, we're planning a getaway. Can't you keep your big mouth shut? We can trust Bill. Why don't we ask the governor to join us? He's a nice, trustworthy boy. Ah, shut up. Glad to come with you, Casey, if you've got room. But you've only just got back. I want to go away again, see? Ah, we'll soon have the whole ruddy institution in with us. Yeah. Except Jackie. Why, has he swallowed the anchor? He wants us to give up the whole idea. You're ruining your chances of making good after. Making good after? They all said I was the sort who made good after. First thing they tell you when you leave here is to break away from all this. Get new ideas. Get yourself a new life. Well, I got myself a new life. I got myself a job. It was a good job. I was carpentering in a big workshop. I was made a start and I was happy. I hadn't been there more than a week when I found that every man in that place knew I was from Borstal. And what's more, they didn't like it. Whenever a tool or anything was missing, I was blamed. Nobody said anything, but I knew what they were thinking. One day, somebody did say something. And there was a fight. And I was slung out. Of course, I had to report it to the association. I got a right balling out for fighting, but I didn't lose my license. All right, I have another go. I get another job. Same thing, sacked, and another job, sacked again. I got plenty of jobs, all right. The association sorted that. I was still reporting regularly, you see. Job after job after job, and they all ended the same way, sacked. Did you hear that? I can't believe it. There must be some other reason, some reason besides Borstal. What about all the chaps who go out every year and make good? They don't come back. I don't know about them, but I'm back, and I don't say I didn't try, because I did. Why did they send you back, Bill? Well, in my last job, I thought, if everybody keeps thinking I'm going to pinch something, I might just as well, so... I helped myself to 20 pound out the till, and here I am. Wait a minute. Is this on the level? Of course it's on the level. I thought they didn't send you back to the same Boston twice. Well, I thought so, but the governor asked for me special. You wouldn't by any chance be his tame stool pigeon, would you? What did you say? Ah, that's all right. I only asked. Well, Jackie, uh, what about it? Do you still think we should try and make good, or... Will you come with us? Come on, kid. What do you say, Bill? Please yourself. All right, I'm with you. You've got to go now, Dusty, haven't you? Me? Why? Because the reading's bad for your eyes. Well, who said so? You heard what he said. See him off then, Spud, will you? Right, I spat her. Okay, Spud, stay by the door. Okay. Okay, this won't take long. First of all, the clothes and the money are done in the village. Hello, the bosses left them there this morning. Good old boss. And yeah, there's a snag, though. They've got to be collected by somebody wearing civvies. Blimey, what's the good of that? Who are you going to send, the governor or Tixons? They wouldn't go, would they? Uh, be your edge. Spatter's going to collect them. Where in what? The suit we're going to borrow from one of the masters. Do I get a choice? If you like, why? I've had my eye on that uh, new striped suit of knights. Nice and refined, about my size and all. <laughs> all right, you'll have it. Now, we wait till the night of the concert. The place will be full of visitors, so the screws will be run off their feet. Directly our bit's over, somebody sneaks out to night's room and nicks the suit for Spatter. Rest off his way downstairs. And over the wall together. Right? Right. 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 Bossy, you're one of night's orderlies, aren't you? Uh-huh. Then it's your job to pinch the key to his room. Wait till the morning of the concert and get it from the rack in his office. OK? I'll get it. Once we're over the wall, Spatter scarpers off to the village for the clothes and the door meet. We wait at the farm till he gets back. Who's going to crack the crib? Yeah, I'll do it. No. Fair's fair. We'll draw for it. OK, we'll draw for it. I'll handle this for you. Here's some paper. Well, what do you want to draw for? I'll do it, I'll tell you. Can you shut up? Quiet, big head. We want to get out. That's eight. I don't get the one with a cross on, does the job, eh?
No. you and me, Jackie. Shall I draw first? If you like. No. Congratulations, Jackie. Jackie Bell's gone. Alfie. Alfie, I changed my mind. What do you mean? Well, I... I've been thinking it over and I'm not going with you. You scared? No, I'm not scared. I'm just gonna do my time. If I come with you, I'll soon be back. Left it a bit late, haven't you? I'm sorry, then. I'm not joining in no getaway. I won't tell nobody about it, I promise. But I'm just not coming, see? I'm sorry, Alfie, but I... Well, I've got my mum to think about, and I... I've got a girl, too. Oh, yes, yes, of course you have. <laughs> That's her foot, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Wish I had a girl. It's been nice to have a photo to keep you company in a place like this. They all got them, haven't they? Even old Bill brought one back this time. Oh, he doesn't keep it by his bed. A bit too secret for that, I think. He has it sort of shut away. Have you seen her? No. Love from Kitty. She's pretty. Oh, I suppose I better be going now. that other thing, if that's the way you feel about it, well, I suppose it'll be all right. I'll try and explain to the others. Forget it. I'll come. I was been all this while asleep. Farewell to thee, Strato. Countryman, my heart doth joy that on all my life I found no man, but he was true to me. I shall have glory to this losing day. More than... More than... Octavius and Mark Antony, by this vial. Oh, more than uh, Octavius and Mark Antony, by this vile conquest shall attain unto. Night hangs upon my eyes. My bones would rest there, but labour to attain this hour. Fly, my lord, fly! Hence I shall follow. I pray thee straight to, will thou stay beside thy lord? Thou art a fellow of good respect. Thy life hath some snatch of honor in't. Will thou hand out thy sword and turn away thy face so that I may fall upon it? Wilt thou straight to? Straight I wilt thou. Well, give me your hand first. Very well, my lord. Fare thee well, straight to. Caesar, now be still. I killed not thee with half so good a will. Well, 
done, lad. Well done. Trying to see me, not you. That was a really touching farewell, Elfie. Oh, good, sir. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> now, come on, you scene shifters. Get cracking with those pillars. You've only got three minutes. Is the choir ready, Mr. Knight? Time to get going. Hey, Nels. Where do you think you're off to? Come on, come and give us a hand on the stage. I wonder where Jack is. I'll go and find him, if you like. Do you think you ought to? Why not? You want to see him, don't you? I'll go and ask somebody. Excuse me, I, I wonder if you could tell me where to find Jackie Knowles. Yes, certainly. Angels. Here he is. Hello, Jackie. <laughs> I thought you'd be surprised. What are you doing out here anyway? I thought you were supposed to be in there helping Tix in the night with the scenery. Uh, I just came out for a breather. I, I, I felt a bit faint. I think perhaps I'd better go back now. You crazy? Can't you see you've got a visitor? You take my tip and go on feeling faint. I'll fix Tixon for you. Cheerio. What do you want? You're, you're not allowed out here. You'll only get me into trouble. But, Jack. Why aren't you there watching the show? Because I'd rather be out here talking to you. I thought you'd be pleased to see me, too. Are you sure it's me you come to see? What's the matter with you? You've been seeing Bill Foster all the time he's been outside, haven't you? What if I have? There's no harm in that, is there? Excuse me, miss. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Jackie, but you're wanted up in Mr. Knight's room right away. But just a minute. I'll I shouldn't keep him waiting if I were you, Jackie. Really, I wouldn't. Come along. Well, I, I'll have to go, Kitty. I'll, I'll see you later. He should be here by now. Maybe they picked him up. That's what you get for leaving the job to a ruddy amateur. Who 
Who's there? Mom, what are you doing? He's dead. He's dead. I killed him. He's dead, Spanner. Quiet, you fool. We'll have the old building up here. Pull I, yourself together. I never meant to kill him. I never meant to kill him. But it wouldn't let go, Spanner. It wouldn't let go. Oh, shut up. What's done's done. Come on, we've got to get out. Oh, we can't. We can't leave him like this. We've we got to do something. We've got to get a doctor. The money. Shut up. Oh. Shut up, I tell you. We've got to get out of here and quick. That's what we've got to do. It's us or him, and it ain't going to be me. Come on. We can't leave him there, Sparrow. What else can we do? Well, I don't know. As soon as I get the stuff. Okay. See you on the barn. Get going. Good luck. Don't be long, Spanner. No. Get back to the wall. Come on now. Well, why don't we do something? Are we just going to sit around here waiting to be took? Shut up. Can't you keep your voice down? Well, what could have happened to him? It don't take two hours to get to the village and back. Now, what can we do? One step outside in these clothes and we've had it. He's been picked up, that's what it is. Uh, perhaps he had to lay low for a bit. Unless he's double-crossed us and gone off on his own. Why, you dirty little... <laughs> we all know that, but that's what you'd have done. But not smell Not smell <laughs> 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 See? What happens if he don't turn up, Casey? We give him another hour anyway. And then what? Clothes are no clothes, we're gonna run for it. Okay. We get the clothes, we stick together. We don't, we run for it separate. Is that clear? Any sucker who gets caught don't know nothing, see? I didn't mean to kill him, honest, I didn't. He just fell down. Dead. Dead, I tell you, and I killed him. Shut up. Aren't we in enough trouble? Jackie, I've got something for you. Your girlfriend asked me to keep it and give it to you on your birthday as a sort of surprise, but I think you better have it now. The lucky guy. Sparrow, uh, uh, boys. Good old oh, Sparrow. No, 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 what a performance. I'm going back to Boston where it's quiet and peaceful. The old place is lousy with cops. I'll be lying in the ditch for an hour, taking all the creases out of my trousers. Give us a fag, somebody. No, not yet. Yes. I'll drop into the hospital later. I'll call you back. You wanted the names, sir. Well? Thompson, Walker, Barker, Phillips, Rawlings, Casey, Knowles, Foster. Thank you, Dixon. 
They won't get very far, sir. There are too many of them. Hmm. <laughs> Sir? Suspected fracture of the skull. He's not going to die, is he? But Dr. Edwards won't commit himself. Says it's a 50-50 chance. Can't think what they hope to gain. The one thing we can't give them, Tixon. Freedom. you, Kitty. Come in. Haven't you been to work today? No. I thought Jackie might come here. He won't. They've all been caught. What'll they do to them? Depends whether that chap gets better or not. Suppose he doesn't. Then it'll be murder. Oh, no. No. Thompson, Casey, Knowles, Foster, Rawlings. It makes you wonder whether we're doing any good at all. Well, we're doing our best, huh? The trouble is our best isn't good enough when the public get hold of a job like this. Hello. All right, bring them in. Don't blame the public. They're only interested in headlines. You know the headline I'd like to see just once before I die? Postal boy makes good. Right up there on the front page. I'm not sure the boy in question would be pleased. No, I suppose not. Nobody wants to say I'm an old Bostalian. But what people seem to forget is that we start with 100% failures and turn out 50% successes. I wonder how Eaton and Harrow would get on if their intake was limited to the failures and no goods. Come in. All right, get in two ranks. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Well, I hope you're all satisfied with the night's work. This is not just an attempted escape. It's something much more serious. You all know what I mean. A brutal and cowardly attack on one of your own masters. A crime that makes me ashamed. Ashamed for Borstal. A lot we care. Oh, I see. Is that how you feel about it, Knowles? What about you, Foster? Casey. What we feel, we feel together. There's no use trying to separate us. That'll do, Casey. Now, I'm going to make an appeal to you, boys. If you'll tell me exactly how this thing happened, concealing nothing, I may be able to help you. You can trust me, you know that. At least I hope you do. Otherwise, you'll all have to take the full consequences. Now, I ask you for your own sakes. Who did it? Please, sir. Shut up, you fool. Can you see you're just playing into his hands? Listen, from now on we don't see anything, see? Very well. You leave me no alternative but to make this a police matter. If you all wish to share the punishment, you shall. And I don't mind telling you I shan't be sorry if it's a very severe one. I'm not against you, lads. I'm on your side, but you haven't got the sense to see it. I don't want you to stay cooped up in this place any more than you do yourselves. I've given you every chance to own up but you just go on standing there like a lot of little fifth-rate gangsters. 
I'm sick and tired of you. Now then, for the very last time, who was it? All right. Oh, uh, excuse me, please, sir. Miss Rawlings? I did it, sir. You, Rawlings? Yes, sir. What do you think he's doing? It's cuckoo. Oh, pay no attention, sir. I did it. Oh, don't believe him, sir. It was me. Truly, sir, it was me. Ask them. They'll tell you, sir, it was me. I did it. Can't see he's trying to find Quiet, don't don't let me get it. Get get back. Quiet. Let's have no more of this. Now, Rawlings, what have you got to say? Only that I did it, sir. He didn't do it, so he's only trying to save me. Be quiet, Knowles. Go on, Rawlings. Well, it was my job to act as lookout, sir, while, uh, while Sparrow stole a suit of clothes. Dirty. Silence! Well, what happened then? Mr. Knight came back unexpectedly, and there was a struggle. I bashed him, and he fell. And when we saw how badly he was hurt, to we, uh, we ran away. That wouldn't account for the wound on his head? Oh, he hit his head on a chair, sir. I see. Well, Knowles, do you still persist in your story? Yes, sir, I do, and I can prove it. How? You said he hit his head on a chair, didn't you? Yes. Well, that's wrong, sir, because it was a lamp. I lost my head, sir, and hit him with a lamp. They must have found it on the floor. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I, I didn't know what I was doing. No, Knowles, I don't think you did know what you were doing. Well, Rawlings, have you been lying again? Yes, sir. Why? Because he's my pal, sir. Rubbish. Why you invented this absurd lie, I haven't the slightest idea. Now, Knowles, what have you got to say? Well, sir, just... just that it all happened like I said. It... it was me who hit him. The others had no part in it. Oh, yes, we did. We were all in it. A lot of us. I suppose it's murder. Murder? It can't be murder, sir. I didn't mean to kill him. I didn't mean to kill him. Honest, I didn't. Governor's office. It's the hospital, sir. Dr. Edwards. Thank you. Governor speaking. Oh, yes. Yes, Doctor. Quite. Yes. Yes, of course. Yes. All right. Right, Doctor, yes. Thank you very much for phoning. Goodbye. They're going to operate on Mr. Knight this afternoon. Until it's all over, nobody will know whether he'll live or not. We'll just have to wait. Take them away, Mr. Johnson. I'll send for them again later. Very good, sir. Left turn! Left wheel, quick march! That's a double crosser. We'll get you for this. What are we waiting for? Why don't we get him now? Okay, let's have a hand it. Keep him away from the others. Yes, oh, Go on, Right, hold. Left, top. Eight 
lads for the governor. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. All right, pay attention. All right, yes. Well, I've sent for you again because I've got some news for you. It's good news. Better than I expected. Mr. Knight is off the danger list and he's going to recover. Do you realize what that means? It means you'll get another chance, a chance you don't really deserve. Do you mean we're not going to be punished? Of course you'll be punished. And I can promise you your punishment will be severe. But you're very lucky not to be on a murder charge. And I hope you'll remember the next time you're thinking of doing something stupid. OK, we're not squealing. And you can punish us as hard as you like. We'll still try to escape. And in the end, we'll get out. You'll see. Yes. And in the end, you'll be back again. Probably in prison next time. So what? That's our lookout. We don't ask for no pity, and we don't give none. That's right. That goes for me and all. Well, it doesn't go for me, so I'd like another chance. Don't go for me either, sir. I'm sorry I let you down. Your chance came, Foster, but you weren't ready for it. Yes, I know, sir. I'm sorry. I'm glad to hear it. Now, there's just one other thing. And I hope I'm not wasting my time when I say this. I'm here to help you if I can. And I believe you can all make good if you try. I'm not going to preach at you. But I do ask you to promise me this. If anything goes wrong in the future, if you've got any complaint, or you feel you're not getting a square deal, will you come to me personally? That's all I ask. Well? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was up, sir. Will you, Casey? Thompson. Walker. Barker. Phillips. Very well. You can go now. Take them away, Mr. Johnson. Thank you, sir. Well, Miss Hurst, so you insist on seeing me, eh? Sorry, I, I didn't mean to be rude or push myself, but I just had to talk to you. Sit down. Thank you. I see, you're Jackie Knowles' girl, aren't you? Yes. And what brings you here? Well, Mrs. Knowles was terribly worried, and I just had to find out what was going to happen to him. I can't tell you that yet. The gentleman who was hurt, did he die? No. He's going to recover. Does Jackie know? Yes, he's just been told. What will they do to him now? Well, I'm not sure. He'll have to be punished, of course. Oh, no. But you don't think he can attack a man like that and get off scot-free, do you? But punishing him won't help. It'll only make him worse. He wasn't like this till he came in here. Really, he wasn't. You don't believe in Borsal, do you? No, I don't. Why not? Well, look what it's done to Jackie. It's only been a bad influence on him. There are plenty of bad influences outside Borsal, you know. And they're not so easy to deal with. Well, I, I could help him. You still can. When your Jackie comes out, he'd want a lot of help. And that's where you come in. I can't help him, then. It's too late. It's never too late. If you can give him something to look forward to, then you'll be giving him confidence. And that's more than half the battle. Is there any chance of seeing him? Well, no, I'm afraid that's against the regulations. That's all you ever think about here, rules and regulations. Couldn't you forget them, just for once? Hello, this is the governor speaking. Give me the duty officer. Knowles? Yes, sir? The governor wants you. Come on. What are you doing here? Jackie, I just had to come. Your mother was scared stiff about you. How did she know about it? Well, it was in the papers. Oh, yes, I forgot all about that. Well, I you see, I thought... Oh, Kitty. Yes? I'm, I'm terribly sorry, really, I am. I, I never meant it to happen like this. It was all an accident. You don't have to explain to me. Oh, yes, I do. I, well, I never meant to bawl you out the other night, either. I was all muddled up. Oh, yes, it does matter. It, ma it matters a lot to me. I I'll make it up to you, honest, I will. Look, I... I don't want you to make me any promises. I, I know what you're thinking. Three years is a long time, but... 
Well, I wouldn't change my mind. E even if... Even if I change mine? Yes. You needn't worry. Kitty. Well, Miss Hurst, I'm afraid you'll have to be leaving us now. Oh. Well, goodbye, Jackie. Bye, Kitty. Goodbye, sir, and, and thank you. That's all right. Sorry we had to cut your visit short. Better luck next time, eh? Now, Knowles, do you recognize this? Oh, yes, sir. It's my notebook. I thought so. Well, where did you get it, sir? I picked it up in Mr. Knight's room. Well, you'd better report back to Mr. Tixon. Yes, sir. Is that all, sir? No. Tell him to let me have a copy of the regulations. I seem to have forgotten some of them. Yes, sir. Go on, off you go. Thank you, sir. Well, Johnson, what do you make of it all? I don't know, sir. One day I think we've really made something of them, and... And the next day, they try to escape. Well, of course they try to escape. But why not? Aren't we all of us trying to escape from some prison of our own making? There you are, Johnson. The wheat and the chaff. Yes, sir. But the thing is, which is which? No, Johnson. The thing is to find out what is the chaff and why.